Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Tuesday the 20th of October. So starting off looking at what news is. So we have very little at 1.30. We've got building permits, etc. in the US. Um, got a lot, a lot of speakers coming on from uh, 10 to 4 onwards in the US. Other things, of course, the Brexit chitter chatter keeps going backwards and forwards. We might see something coming from that. Um, but um, it really does look like a, a, an empty day in terms of numbers. So let's uh, look at the technicals in that case. Euro dollar, well, yesterday, solid up day. And it did actually look at one stage that it might have broken this trend that's pushing across the highs here. Um, but it's uh, pulled away a little bit and looking a little bit soft at the moment. I was looking at this yesterday and we, a couple of things happened around uh, high, prior highs where it closes near a high. One, it consolidates and pushes back up or two, it just sort of pulls straight back. But, uh, well, we'll see where this is going at the moment. It's, it's consolidated pretty well within a tightish range. So I haven't written this off altogether, uh, what we're seeing here at the moment. Looking at the, the order book, there are sell orders sitting below these lows here. So at... Um, Oh, they're coming in at one seventeen sixty. So we've got sell orders sitting down here, which might just fuel any movement down there. But it's got to get down there to even get there. So at this stage, I'm still wondering whether this will continue the push to the upside. Yes, we had some divergence around these highs. That's probably the very fact it hasn't continued to sell off. One thing to not ignore, of course, is that pivot, that daily pivot. It may come down for that later on, but uh, at the moment, well, we'll see how it goes. It, it may be a, a push up first and, and then a retrace from what I can see at this stage. So uh, to the upside, just looking above, well, there will be buy highs above the 1830 sort of area. And up, up here, there was a sort of net buy orders kick, kicking in. Actually, it's a bit further up than the 1800s. Sorry, there's a tad at 1790. So um, you, you've, you've got a slight draw up there, but uh, a break of that area is significant anyway. So just watching out for a break of that uh, daily daily 50, a break of that much more significant, and maybe we'll see the euro rolling more, uh, pushing up more. When I say rolling, I was thinking just then of the dollar index, which I'll just briefly put on here. And you see a similar picture, inverted, of course. Um, but you're seeing this that it's actually pulled away at the moment from that trend line. But again, this could, um, just the shape of this price action could st yet roll over. And well, as I say, you're putting in a more positive bar, consolidated, bit messy. But if the dollar index is rolling over, the, the euro is pushing up. Okay, the pound. So the pound's a bit of a mismatch of um, price action and it's very difficult to really um, put your hand on your heart and say, I know where this is going, technically. Um, <laughs> apart from it could just chop along. Um, looking at the order book again on this, I was just seeing chop all over the place. There's buy orders above, there's uh, sell orders below at places, but then there's intermingled. It's a, it's a real hodgepodge. Traders are hedging their bets effectively on. Um, it's just look at the shorter time frames you come down these shorter time frames well yesterday eventually did sell off in the in the later after evening there uh, more significant sell off than we saw with the euro and it's consolidating around this this area um i it's got the daily pivot above you can't bet against the pound pushing back again we well, could do um and i'm sure someone will be and uh, some will be but uh, i wouldn't be shocked if it if, if it got another push up there of course we're sitting there uh, with the great unknown it's almost like throwing a coin at this stage a break of these lows yes may signify a, a, a sort of a, a, a switch back even lower down to the s1 maybe even to the bodies or even tails of these prior candles but we'll see it to me it's uh, positive surprises still seem to be coming out of the pound the yen well it's uh bit of a different one the yen in terms of its action it's been sort of sitting there quite solidly around the uh, regression trend line on the dailies there um, well slight continuation here look it looked at times like it was going to break down through this trend line I've drawn here four alleys but at the moment it's still pushing up just softening away um, the problem with the yen is that it's another one of these problematic uh, currencies at the moment because yes we, we could be looking for longs on it in terms of the shape, high lows, high highs. 
but is it going up because people are unwinding their their risk uh, risk off sort of positions um, and it's going against the others we'll see <laughs> or is are we going to suddenly see a surge here if the uh, if something fails in the US and we see risk back off and the money comes back into the yen um, the ranges are tight it, for an intraday market it's not particularly good and even some of the cross pairs with the yen aren't working out that well okay Aussie dollar Aussie dollar well this is one that is just it is just lost the love of the markets and it's rolling over there's there's reasons fundamental reasons sitting behind this in terms of uh, uh, China putting the pressure on reducing coal exports or putting orders out to reduce coal ex exports um, uh, or imports even <laughs> um, reduce, reducing the Australian exports which is a large part of their GDP so um, certainly feeling the pain at the moment a decent retracement may well be sold into um, just looking at, I mean the daily pivot is above and if it had been a, any other market you'd have really wanted to be sort of buying back to that it may may get back there but uh, I'm wondering whether to sell into this uh, 60.21 this morning if it gets there um, and it, well if it pushes through even adding into that 50 but at the moment the uh, Aussie looks soft Canadian dollar Canadian dollar, well, it's dancing round. I didn't see the outcome of OPEC yesterday, but it's obviously not. I mean, it's it's been pretty um, pretty bland, sort of. There's not a lot they can do or say. There's there's more supply than there's necessary. Supply uh, demand is reducing at the moment. It should effectively soften the uh, price of oil significantly. But there's there it does seem to be some agreement in terms of uh, prices at or production to a degree um, where to with this Canadian dollar well it's again it's a bit of a choppy one um, looking at the shorter time frames here it's uh, touched it or air kissed its daily pivot there uh, maybe the later this afternoon we'll see a continued push up there it's, it does look like a high lows etc pushing through not uh, again not a great currency to be looking for this morning so that's the currency side of things what's happening in the equity markets Again, yesterday a bit of a disappointing move there. Um, a, 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 another sell day on the S and P's. It started. It was starting in the futures quite well, but uh, we saw that push it pushing up in the morning sets through into the morning session. Then the afternoon came and it just couldn't hold on to those gains. One thing to look at: the four hourly here has lower highs in there. Big picture sentiment is quite bullish on the S&P. I say bullish, but money's going back into the S&Ps. There's, there's this sort of, uh, maybe it's just a safety area of its own. Um, but uh, technically at the moment, it's looking weak. And we, we well, may see more correction. We'll see. Daily pivot below, uh, sorry, above rather. Uh, this could just draw it short term. Some sellers may come into that with combined with that 21 sitting there. So... I just can't can't get drawn into the, some of these markets. Oil um, and that's flatlining. So there we go. I'll leave that on that line. And on that line, I wish you a great day. Um, watch out for speakers later. Um, can't do much about Brexit speakers, European speakers, etc. So we just need to perhaps I'm keeping away from the pound personally. Have a great day. Bye for now. <music>